Hi everyone, it's the Comic Fan Man here coming at you with another video. And in today's video, we're going to continue our little retrospective on the uh, Spawn Classic Series 20 Domina figure. Classic Series 20. Um, from McFarlane Toys. This was... Um, this figure came out at the same time as the uh, Medieval Spawn 3. This is the same line as the Medieval Spawn 3. So this is... Um, this figure is also based on the art of Greg Capullo. Legendary Greg Capullo from Spawn. And uh, yeah, um, she's been in her plastic prison for all these years and it's time to take her out. All right, let's see what we got. All right, so here she is out of the package with all of her accessories. The Spawn Hunter Demona and uh, yeah, let's take a look at what she comes with. Here is a beautiful little shield here. That looks really nice. I love the little scribbling that they have on there. Silver and gold. A nice black orb in the middle. Very nice. So this goes on this hand here. So that's her shield. She comes with a little dagger. Which is a beautiful little detailed dagger here. Look at all of this beautiful paint wash on there. Really very nice. Wonderful sculpting. Amazing little dagger. And of course, no Spawn Hunter would be complete without their sword. And here she goes. Beautiful sword here. What a wonderful job of sculpting they did back in the day really loving it and look at the paint job that goes on this I mean this is a really tiny little detail and that little I mean, it looks like a bat um, insignia there on the blade that looks really very cool really really enjoyed this and this little pommel here with a beautiful little detail there that's also gorgeous all right so that's our weaponry Let's take a look at Dom Domina herself. And um, again, this is another figure based on the art of Greg Capullo. And it's kind of funny, like she kind of has a Lady Gaga face there with the weird makeup and all. But um, overall, it's a really, really beautiful figure. Um, these little rings here, you got to be careful because they, these do come off, so it'll fly off. So definitely got to put her in her sword as soon as possible. Make sure I don't lose those rings. But look at all the sculpting that they did on this. And, and again, the beautiful painting that they did all over the figure. Look at that. That's really cool. And, uh, she's got all of these, like, um straps that just are free flowing which are great very much calling to the spawns themselves and look at that look at all that intricate work there the boots the, the paint and the the sculpting work that they did there all of her jewelry there her hair is really soft she's kind of she's got a guy two layers of hair there which is kind of nice um, she's got them glutes they did a really nice job with this soft fabric here and uh, this one is glued to the waist so this one won't come off this one is attached to the belt here and the belt has two little holsters here for the blades which is really nice so uh, yeah I look forward to putting all that together and there she is Domino by art design by Greg Capullo from Spawn and I know like I guess she kind of had to take the place of um, of Angela because uh, Todd McFarlane did not own the rights to Angela that's how she wound up in Marvel Comics but um, but she's a beautiful character and if I really really wanted to I'll just paint the hair red and just make her Angela um, because it's a, exactly the same outfit so, um, so it's cool. Really, really enjoy this. Let's put her weapons on and see what she looks like. 
All right, so here she is with her weaponry on, and as you can see, she holds her sword really nicely. <clears throat> She's got the dagger on the side here and the shield off of her arm. Looks really, very cool. Really, really nice figure. Um, and uh, yeah, obviously there was no articulation for this. These are meant to be like statue figure style figures. But uh, the pose that she's in is very nice. It's very dynamic. And I uh, really, really enjoy the way she looks. And this sword actually has a holster on her belt as well. You just pop it off and, and right here on her belt, she has a holster that also holds her sword. Look at that. So she can actually hold her weaponry um, on her on her body and not on her hands. Although you really do kind of want to keep this on her hands to make sure that her her brace her bracelets here these rings don't slide out. The weapons uh, is what's holding it in. Oh, and she's got. I didn't realize she had a little articulation motion here. She has a smaller version of the of the big shield on this side right there. Very nice. Really, really cool. All right. Let's uh, pose her with uh, some other figures. All right. Here she is side by side um, with Witchblade. And uh, yeah, stunning warriors here. Uh, ready to protect Castle Grayskull from toxic masculinity. <laughs> Just joking. Relax. Don't kill me. Um, but yeah, as you can see, beautiful beautiful sculptures here um really nice um you know this figure is also very much limited in her articulation um but i think she looks really really good and they they're size wise they line up really well together here she is alongside my um captain carrot also from mcfarland toys dc uh multiverse line and uh you know, obviously you can see that uh, for the DC figures, their colors are very bright and all, but Captain Carrot is definitely one of my favorite surprise figures of this year. And I did give him a sword, the Doom Slayer sword here. And uh, yeah, he's more than willing to help her defend Castle Grayskull. Here she is facing off against Medieval Spawn 2. Really, really good looking. Um, this kind of goes a little bit better uh, because their their colors are more realistic and uh, the detail work is really, really, really nice. So, um, yeah, she looks really good with this Medieval Spawn too. Looking like they're about to clash swords. Digging it. And finally, here she is going up against the one Medieval Spawn that uh, she's actually part of the same line with. This is Medieval Spawn 3. And yeah, I, if you've seen my previous video on this figure, you know how much I gushed over him. Really, really love him. Still got the arrows. Still holding out. We'll see if he makes it to the uh, Medieval Spawn Kickstarter video. But uh, yeah, this, this looks really good. Obviously, they're from the same line. So, and uh, both of them were designed by Greg Capullo. So they're both based on his art really really gorgeous gorgeous combination here all right i hope you enjoyed this look at domino from mcfarland toys series 20 and um if you feel that i've earned it please give me a like and subscribe and i look forward to seeing you in the next video thank you and have a great day bye bye now